All right, now it is wine o'clock somewhere, especially nowadays when you're stuck in your home and without much to do. Now today, we're gonna to visit some of Israel's top wineries that allow you to order their delicious creations straight to your home. It's time for YVT's Beautiful Faces of Israel segment produced by the incredible Inon El Natan. Take a look. The land of Israel is also called the land of milk and honey. Blessed earth, among other things, growing vineyards for wine production. Today, we're going to introduce you to three wineries and because of the special situation that we're experiencing in this era of the entire world, we invite you to purchase the wine and the winery owners will send it to you with a special blessing from the Holy Land. Let's start. The first winery grows its 900 foot vineyards on the famous Greece mountain from Bible stories, Toro Winery. Shalom everybody, I'm Vered from the Toro Winery in Israel. The winery is located in Rechelim. We came to the mountain of blessing that was empty. After 2,000 years of waiting, we come back to our land and we get, began to settle the land. We began to plant vineyards. And after four years, we saw that we have one of the best grapes in Israel. Like the prophet of Jeremiah, he said, The meaning is, one day you should come back to your land and plant vineyards and produce wine again. To winery is a family business. As my husband, he is the winemaker, he is the best. I am the manager of sales and marketing. Together we do a very good job. We have more than 70 awards, international awards from all over the world, that all of them says, the wine of Samaria, of the biblical land, is one of the best wines in the world today. Tour Winery also produces fine olive oil, free shipping with the order of a box of 12 bottles of wine. The next winery sits close to the City of the Fathers, La Forêt Blanche Winery. My name is Jakob Briss. We're currently in La Forêt Blanche Winery located in Moshav Yatil. The name La Forêt Blanche is taken from a translation of one of the names of the temple, which was called Ya'ar Alevanon. Our vineyard is called after Caleb and Yefune, Steak Kalev. This is where we grow our grapes for these wines. It's located right near Marat HaMachpelah, near Hebron, where Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are buried. And this is exactly the place where 3,500 years ago, people took the grapes to make wine and bring it to the temple. This is our deepest connection to the land and to the temple. That, that is the name of La Forêt Blanche. Hi. The last winery today is a five-stone winery located right on David and Goliath's battlefield. Hi, my name is Ilan Hasson. I'm the founder of Five Stones Vineyard. Our vineyards are located in Givat Ishaya, in the Ella Valley, the same place where David beat Goliath, and in this historical place, we decided to plant our vineyards. All our grapes are coming from this area and we produce usually only blend wines in three levels of uh, different labels. The DVSG, the Nobility and the Virtuous. We are very proud that our wines of the very young winery that started production only five years ago already got very nice scores from the well-known wine critics from all over the world. I'm suddenly very thirsty. At least it's nice to be able to travel to these wineries with our eyes since we can't do any traveling uh, with our feet lately. Now for those of you who want to check out more videos like this about the Holy Land, go to www.tbf-news.com and download the app Why Travel.